All right, so we want to look at the settings in the Open Roads tools that affect what gets uh, exported out to ICM. And the first thing I want to mention is that anything included in the civil model is going to be um, pushed out to the ICM. So if we go over here and look at the civil model tab and look in our active DGN, everything here in uh, the civil model is going to be pushed out to the ICM. Um, so uh, in this DGN, I have a um, an existing ground surface. So this terrain is going to export if I have my terrains selected, and also any in our civil model, um, anything that are showing up here in our civil objects as far as um, uh, surface templates, that kind of stuff. Those are going to be considered part of the terrains. And then we have our corridor here. If we go to corridor objects on our um, corridor, one of the primary settings here is the template drop interval that's going to affect you know the vertices that get created in the linear features and the frequency of the mesh um, of the mesh elements that get created and then if we go to the civil standards tab and just look at the corridor design stages that's going to have a big influence on what gets put out there if we want the option to import the top surface from mesh when we get over to Trimble we'll have our top mesh set to true here um, the bottom mesh in Trimble automatically gets created from um, the bottom of the linear features in the um, in the templates, so we don't necessarily have to have this bottom mesh set to true. And then create linear features is important. Um, if you have uh, points in your template that are going to generate the 3D line strings for your edge of pavement, edge of shoulders, if you want those to uh, be linear features in Trimble when we get there, you need to have this create linear features set to true. Uh, same thing with create component meshes if we want um, if we want that information to be there when we get to, to Trimble we'll have that set to true as well and then um, probably the other thing is under template management the template drop interval multiplier that affects again the frequency of the drops along the corridor so those are really the only settings that influence the um, the type and amount of data that's getting pushed over there so now if we go to um, the model interoperability, hit export out uh, to create an ICM. I'm going to include my terrain model and design models and select OK. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the one I created earlier. And when that gets done, I get a message here that it's finished. So let's tr uh, switch over to Trimble Business Center. We're going to import that. I already have a project here created ready to receive that file. I'm going to select the ICM here. And the settings down here at the bottom on this import are also going to affect what gets created. Um, we have the option to uh, just bring in civil objects or to bring in all the data that is in the ICM. Um, Trimble makes a distinction between just regular line work and alignment, so I can tell it um, when, those, when those lines come in that are not a part of the corridor, how do I want those treated here in Trimble? And then um, this option down here tells it if I want to create the top surface uh, here in Trimble, do I want to look at the surface mesh that came in? We saw that over in the corridor design stages. Or do I want it just to look at the line strings? Um, and those would be the points in the templates that had the, um, the include and top mesh on. Um, they know to look at those and, and construct a surface out of those. So those. Um, it doesn't matter which way you go there either way. I'll go ahead and choose just to show um, creating a surface from a surface mesh and we'll say import. And we can see that it brought everything over. It brought the terrains and it brought the corridor data in. And I'm going to turn off a lot of the graphics. I just want to focus on the surfaces for a second. Um, here we see this top mesh. I'm going to turn off existing ground. The top mesh uh, surface came in, and it created it from, again, the top mesh, which had these transverse lines in it, so we're not going to see. So we're going to see uh, basically a terrain here that matches up pretty close to what was created uh, back in open roads. This uh, finish surface here, again, is um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's coming from the corridor. So let's just, um, let's just create a... And I'm sorry, one more thing I want to show is that the bottom surface is created. Even though I didn't have that bottom mesh turned on, um, Trimble, knows to, um, Trimble knows to go across the bottom of all those linear features that were tagged as including top and bottom mesh and create a mesh out of it. And this is actually a good, um, 
this is actually a good e example here to show one other setting when we get into Trimble that we might want to consider. And that's if we click on this um, surface, go to Properties, we might want to change to Alignment Based. And if we say yes on that, we'll see that um, some of these triangles will orient themselves perpendicular to the alignment, which again makes it match up a little closer. And now we're just going to create a new project. Just so one of, just to show, um, sorry, one other setting in uh, in Trimble that might be of interest to us coming from Open Roads. And again, we're going to import from that same IC. And this time, I'm going to choose to create it just from line strings. And again, I'm going to turn off all the graphics. And I'm going to look at just this top surface. And we'll see here that um, we'll see here that it's um, in a straight tangent piece of a line like this. It's um, kind of ignoring that there are any vertexes or any vertices along there. And if we go to project settings, it's reading a setting in here under um, computations and then surface. And it's looking at this, um, which one is it? This maximum sampling distance. You know, it's trying to minimize the amount of work it's having to do if there's straight segments on there. But if I change this down to, you know, match more closely what my um, template drop was, then when I say OK on that, we'll see that these lines that were being um, ignored in a straight section are now being triangulated to with that maximum setting. And again, like we showed before, out here on the edges, we can click on properties and set that to be alignment based um, to try and get that just to match up a little bit more closer with what the triangles were doing back in open roads.